Hey fellow viewer, welcome back to the series of how to make a game like Bear Wars now. So as we left off with, uh, oh, ignore this, I was just testing. Yeah, okay. So as you can see, we have like, but wait, as we can see, we were waiting for players function we have made and intermission at the last video. Now we are going to make a f we are going to make a function where we where where it, before round we what would we going what the player going to do so let's put these inside and I will make a fake sword for the player it's going to be called I'll put it here and put fake sword that's it now i'll put this inside also and this also okay this won't have any scripts and we'll remove the rest of the things also and blade also we don't even need that we just need the handle that's it it's not going to do anything and and we're going to now start making the function so uh, function system dot system module dot dot before round player character we are going the these are the parameters we need so task dot wait and put a one second here for once and we can do character find first child find first child <clears throat> uh humanoid root part then then character dot character dot humanoid root part dot c frame equal workspace oh yeah we um sorry yeah i've i've created this um this would be in description if you want this model model oh first what we're going to do is we're going to groove this call lobby okay there's a spectator thing now we are going to do workspace dot dot lobby dot spectator dot c frame so we are going to find this find the spectator thing and finding its c frame and replicated storage dot uh, items dot storage and we are checking the we are checking the fake sword and clone dot parent go equal player player dot backpack it's going to check if the we it's going to parent the well, um sword inside the player yeah now now i think we are done so now we can we can make this so a service for players game get you players and these are the variables here i'll separate these up variables and okay now players dot player added code on connect function um player this will check if the player player function is added i mean sorry if the player is added in like if the player joined 
or something like that and player dot character added code on connect function and character this will check if the character is added like when the player joins the the character loads up and if the player respawns we can check so so we can now put the function new and before now pl um player and character <laughs> now we can check yeah as you can see we are up here we can do anything right now so let me reset and show you see we are up here okay next what we are going to do is we are going to check if the game started or not so i will make a value like a bool value here going to be is game in progress rest game in progress it would be disabled right now and we are going to add this add this uh, thing so we are going to add server storage here storage so game get get service service storage now we are going to check game in progress so service storage dot game in progress that's it now now we are going to we're going to remove this like this so if the game is in progress then return and so this function will not trigger whenever this triggers this will not trigger like that now we're going to add the function for start for starting module module dot module uh, dot dot bef um start start round oh. um game and progress dot value equal true next we are going to we are going to add a function that would be that would be resetting the players so system dot system module dot dot uh load character these this will load the characters so it's a um, player and sorry uh we can do like for loop and let's go v I think we don't need a parameter here so we're going to call it a player and i pass and we're going to add another so it's called players players let me separate this a bit yeah looks neat now players get get players do now player player load character this this function will load every character in Lo load every character like respawn them as fast as it could so now we are going to add this function here system dot um load character that's it if i test the game like you can see 
have made need to add another function here called start start if false then this auto assign thing okay that is making it an issue so make sure that your your response not like auto assigned which is the spawn like uh, is that, um, oh yeah make sure it doesn't like if there's a touch to spawn thing do not it shouldn't be enabled yeah allow team change on touch no just to make it false don't make it true okay now we i hope it's not going to do any thing wrong now now let it do again now see we are not in the spectator team now <sighs> hopefully it's not going to do it ag again Yeah, now it's now it's uh, working properly. We finally got it. Okay, we're moving this here. Yeah. Uh, we can remove. Yeah. So, so now we can. We should now start with the game, right? A lot of things we have completed now. I think we should wrap up here. Um, well, I thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.